How to customize your new offline channel page is simple. Let me show you. Yo, what is up guys? My name is Aslex and welcome back to Simple Streaming. Today I'm going to show you how you can customize your new Twitch offline channel homepage. But before we begin, I also want to remind you that I also stream on Twitch, link under here. And yeah, let's get started. So hey guys, uh, this is how your Twitch channel should look like, like normally. This is my channel and here's the panel, just basic. So if you log into your channel, like you go to Twitch and this is the front page, right? Then you go to your channel and you'll see that this message pops up. Uh, some changes are coming soon to, offline to the offline channel page. So you can review your channel page and this is here is where you can insert your channel trailer i will go deep into it later but if you go down here home page you'll see your recent broadcast uh, this one here i just streamed yesterday so yeah this is my <laughs> what i streamed yesterday and it will also show recent play recent stream category so yesterday i played magic the gathering and also resident evil 3 demo and at the bottom it will show suggested uh, channels or maybe team members if you are in a team of any communities. So I'm in TSN, so it shows TSN's communities like members. And if, and you, if you go to about me or about sections right here, well my follower base aren't that much yet, <laughs> but it's getting, it's going getting up I don't know <laughs> uh, so now you can show now so now you can see this uh, about me bio sections which you can only see in mobile before but now you can see it in the you know home page so this is what I have I'm a college student I'm a college student who loves to play video games and want to share it with the world this is my bio about me and also you can add to the side link so I have discord Twitter Instagram SoundCloud because I make music uh, and YouTube and under there is just the basic channels like the panels that you have from before so now if you add it here about me is if it's the same as you use in about me then you can delete this panel here but if not you can just keep it as I did and also, so how do you how do you actually like add them? How do you edit them? Uh, we're gonna go into it just in a minute. And on the schedule, you can set your schedule here. So this is it shows actually what kind of video, like what time, what kind of timeline that you streamed uh, previously if you streamed. So for me, it says here it's about like 8 p.m. I streamed yesterday. And then videos, uh, same, recent broadcast, all videos, and maybe some clips. I don't have any clips from yesterday, so it won't show. And if you click on chat, then we just basically bring you back to your channel, like the old channel. So how to customize it? You can go here and s customize your channel. And then you go to, down here you have uh, this Profile as in color, maybe I should do a video about it. It's very simple, very simple, super simple. Uh, but we're not gonna focus on that one right now. So here's the channel trailer. You can choose to up upload a video, uh, 60, it has to be 60 seconds. So 60 seconds video about you and it will be visible for visitors when you're offline. So when people come to your channel when you're offline, the, the channel trailer will show and it will play and so that's why it's important for you to have like an introductions video like about you tell the viewers about who you are and what type of games you play what kind of schedule you have and maybe show some clips of your of your stream so that's that channel trailer and here's the social link that you want to add so I already filled out everyone that there is so you possibly get a blank space like this like so this is the title so as for discord I have there and then you just insert the link and click save the order of these links aren't customizable so you it's just go randomly ordered uh, I don't know how why but 
that's just how it is. But at least you get your links here. And the final one, the schedule, you just add a ske stream schedule. Start time, let's say I start, right now when I'm recording this, it's like four. So let's say five, let's say 5 p.m. 5 p.m. start and duration, I normally stream three hours, maybe four. And let's click on, today is Saturday, so let's click on Saturday. And then category, I will stream, I'll play Magic the Gathering for the most right now. And stream title, I don't know. Uh, daily Magic, like for example. And then you click save. And then it sh you should have it. So there we have it, like, here's a preview. Uh, vacation mode. So where you have like, which days you have free, but... So now it's set. Magic the Gathering. Alright guys, so how do you change your profile settings or your profile bio? So you go under your name and then you click on settings. Where is it? Settings. And it will bring you to this page where it says settings. And if you scroll down, here you can set your profile banner. Of course my face cam is also in the way. Right here you can upload, a, it says 1200x480 uh, and max 10 megabits, megabytes. So that's the size of your channel page, uh, channel banner or channel page banner. And then you scroll down and here's your name. You said profile settings. So here's the bio. So this is what I have, like I'm a college student who love to play a video game and share with the world. So if you just type whatever you want, click save, and then you're ready to go. So when you go back to your channel, then this is how it should be. Like if you upload a video, then it's like here, you will play. Here's how the page looks like and schedule. We added that one there. So to the previous one and then so that's basically it, very simple. So if you guys enjoyed this video and think this one was helpful, uh, let me know uh, by giving this video a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and subscribe to my channel for more tips and tricks and simple tips. See you guys in the next video, goodbye. Are you mad?